So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make millions of coins easily in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So if you go ahead and take a look at the exchanges section, right now we've got that 96 to 97 overall exchange where we can get hero players, uh, prime hero players, as well as team on the air players. We've got some of these cards that we can get right there. You can also get some other 96 overall uh, team on the air cards, by the way. Not only these, but you can get some other 96 overall cards from these. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about how you can make coins. Obviously, we already know know the uh, the exchange requirements for 96 and 97 overall cards or player exchange but now we also know uh, the requirements for 95 overall cards 95 overall exchanges as well as 93 to 94 overall exchanges and with what we've seen so far the first exchange that we got that was um, obviously that big was 95 overall exchange after that we got 93 to 94 overall exchange pack and after that one we got 96 to 97 so the next one should theoretically be a 95 overall exchange and as I said, we already know the requirements for that 95 overall exchange, and we can go ahead and invest in our uh, invest our coins into that exchange right now. Basically, what we needed was uh, two 93 overall cards first. Now, this might, this might be a bit risky just because 93 overall cards have not really gone up that much uh, when we had 95 overall exchange. But that was probably because uh, every single person was expecting uh, for 93 overall cards or for that exchange requirements to be 393 overall cards, right? Just like we had that uh, during Team of the Year exchanges. But I think these 93 overall cards have got a decent chance to go up. Right now, uh, a lot of people are still focusing on that 96 to 97 overall exchange. And as you can see right there, you can go on and get 93 overall cards for 8.7 million coins, which is the minimum a minimum price for these cards. So I think investing in these coins is going to investing in these players are going to be a decent idea. But also we needed 291 to 92 overall player, players, I think. Uh, if I remember correctly. So investing in 91 overall cards might not be that bad of an idea as well because they are quite cheap right now. If you go ahead and take a look at them, they are at their minimum price again. And I think they've got a good chance to go up in price again. Obviously, invest at your own risk, right? Just because um, none of these investments, some of these investments might work for everybody. Some of these investments might not work. So you have to invest accordingly at your own risk. If you don't want to, you don't, you do not need to invest because invest, investments are not always 100%. Lately, I think I've got pretty much all of my investments spot on just because I didn't invest uh, for these heroes exchanges for 95 overall and 93 to 94 because I knew EA were going to change something and I did not lose any of my coins back then. So now I think just because 93 overall cards are at their minimum as well, at their minimum price, I think they are going to go up in price and same thing with 91 overall cards. They are at their minimum just under 4 million coins and I think there is a decent chance they are going to go up in price. But also we needed 3 89 to 90 overall cards. Now 89 to 90 overall cards, I don't really think um, you're investing in 89 overall cards is the best idea right now because I'm pretty sure we need 89 overall cards in a 96 to 97 overall exchanges as well. They are at their minimum price once again. Uh, or almost at their minimum price for some of them but i think i would not really invest in these 89 overall cards they are probably gonna go up during the exchanges but there are just too many 89 overall cards so i think it's not the best idea for you to invest in these cards i think 91 overalls are like the best uh, best best ones best overalls you can invest in for 95 overall cards but also another way very nice investments that you can make not right now but i think in about two or three days is gonna be a very very nice investment is lower overall team of the year cards because you're gonna get 83 to 97 overall player pack that we got uh, last weekend as well this weekend we're gonna get another one of those packs and if you go ahead and take a look at the team of the year in program players 88 and lower let's just go with that uh, they are worth about 1.3 million coins right now and they have gone up in a lot in price they have gone up in a lot in price just because of those exchanges i think in about two or three days uh, there is a decent chance these cars are gonna go down in price just because we we don't have that 86 to 90, 83 to 97 overall player exchanges and we only go like untradeable player exchanges i think if they go down to like 1 million coins just under 1 million coins as well this uh, team of the yard cards are gonna be a decent investment because next next at uh, the next weekend in the next weekend sorry they are gonna go up to like 1.5 million coins something like that i have a very very good feeling they are gonna go up 
to like decent amount of coins. Not right now, as I said, not right now. Do not invest in these cards right now. Just track their prices and when they go down, you can go ahead and invest in those cards. Uh, in investing in those cards then. And I think those ones are probably the best uh, the best investments you can make right now. Let me know down in the comment section if you go lucky with any of the investments. I actually need to sell my 94 overall cards. I did invest in these 90, uh, 94 overall cards just when we got the new exchanges. I invested um, in Ossimens, I'm pretty sure about at about like 15.7 million coins. So I'm selling them for about 19.5 mil. That's quite a decent profit, I think, right? That's quite a decent profit. And I invested uh, in those um, SCN cards for about 14.7 mil, if I remember correctly. And if I sell them for like 19 million coins, again, that's quite quite a few coins, 19.4 mil. That's quite a few um, uh, quite a few coins profit right there from just doing investing today. I haven't even done much i haven't even done much when the exchange actually came out i just spammed and uh, got some of these cards and made quite a lot of coins with this that way so that's not bad that's definitely not bad but i'm gonna go ahead and just list them up i know i can oh i did not want to sell them for 18 million coins i know i can list them up for 18 million coins and sell them straight away but i would just rather get a few more million coins and just wait a little bit right i think that's gonna be a better decision for me one of the one of the cards have already sold so that's decent I'm going to list him up as well and I'm going to go ahead and open some packs now as well. Let me go ahead and open some packs. 19.4 million coins for SN again and here we go. One of the Ossimans have sold for 19.7 mil. So I think, oh, someone listed him for 18.3 million coins as well. I'm still going to keep them uh, keep them as that just because I think they are, going to, uh, they are still going to sell at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to open these 87 to 97 overall player packs. Let's see if you're going to get something decent. I am using 89 overall team of the yard cards, which is probably not the best idea, right? If you go out and take a look at the 89 overall team of the yard cards, they're probably more expensive. Yeah, they are about uh, like 200,000 coins more expensive than the lower overalls. I don't really mind it too much, so I don't really mind it too much. I'm just going to go ahead and use those 89 overall team of the yard cards in this exchange and hopefully we are going to pack something good. From the first one, we got, um, it's going to be a team of the yard or not team of the yard, icon or a hero is going to be McManaman. Is that McManaman? It is 91 overall McManaman. Not, not awful, not awful. From one of the packs, actually from a tradable 83 plus overall player pack, I packed 97 overall bowler. So that was an incredible pack for me because I made like 80 million coins out of nothing. So that was quite decent for me. Oh, I am using 80 overall cards for this. That's not that's not the best thing, is it? That's not really the best thing, but I don't think I can really do much about that because I'm not really I'm not really sure I can get any of the silver cards right now as well. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be quite hard to get any of the silver cards. No, really, actually, I can get some, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to buy these silver cards right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and use 80 pluses, alright? I'm just gonna go ahead and use 80 pluses. I know it's not the best idea, but I'll go I don't really have that many 80 pluses anymore actually. Um we're we're gonna use that either way. We're gonna use that and open this pack as well. This is gonna be the last one actually. I'm not gonna open another one. Um we've got Moroccan striker, is that in Nessiri? I think this is and Nasiri indeed, only an 89 overall now. 89, 88, and 87 overall, all of ice. Yeah, I didn't really like that pack. 